they both they both got a piece. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So what are we doing? You know, like, We're getting ready. Getting ready for what? Well, putting gloves on. Number one, number two. Check out the buffet. Yeah, but uh, but we kind of need that. But for a first time, I think that. Mmm. That looks delicious, right? Yeah. Well, got to defend my honour as an Australian against the South African and the American. So what are we doing? We're going to see how a saltwater croc, that's right, Crocodilus porosus, performs against the American's alligator and the South African Nile croc. So uh, wish me luck because we all know what these guys are like. They do like to jump and they propel themselves out of the water quite easily. And um, the important part is not dropping the food too early and letting it take an arm. That's right. Pretty important not taking the arm. So I'm going to go through the prep stage here. Here at Primitive Predators, I mean, what can you not... Look at this. Look at these enclosures. But the concrete is so not naturalistic. The pond. The is the pond anyway. So naturalistic okay. and so workable, are very important for two reasons, obviously, safety of the keepers I'm and get making the animals feel a lot safer. Okay. Now, we're heading over here to Ragnarok's enclosure. There's something pretty impressive. Oh. What we're doing is we're going to be feeding a good sized saltwater croc. Something a little bit different. And hopefully, like I said before, it's all about fingers, arms, keeping them. That's the important part. Come on. The American on it. Come on, bro. Come on. Because I think you'll beat both of these uh, these Australian and South Africans. No way, man. So what I do is I, he's tough, because being salty is a pain in the ass. But when he comes up, so I lure him up like this, and then just feed him up. Okay, Pete, you ready? Come on, Brasher. Hey, a lot of pressure. Come on. Because these guys like hey. to take Come on, humans. That's right. These guys are one of the few animals besides my pussy South African friend over there that like to particularly hunt humans as prey items. So. I'm on the menu today. Yeah, get him out there. Come on. Come on. Nice job. That's how you do it, South Africa. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> See, I wish I could have seen it. Was it good? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that thing. Represent the homeland. Yeah. He is, he is so beautiful. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's so good. Bingo! Did you see that? Uh, that was pretty impressive, right? The salty, huh? Yeah, he's got a second Must chance. Must be good. Very impressive. Here, so now what we're going to do is going to let my good friend he's Dingo here have a crack at it because he failed the feeding the Nile crop. Well, I did see but here ear, he comes. Oh my Dingo. I don't so, know. It's got to be enough this time. Yeah, a Dingo, this is your last chance. Built for comfort, reaction. not for yeah, speed, old Dingo. Good. So let's see how he goes <laughs> today, right? Yeah. yeah. Dingo, let's see how we do it, Dingo. Dingo, you messed this one up, brother. Come on! We can do it. We can do it. Where are you, big Aussie bastard? Where is he? Oh, yeah, he's right, right underneath right you. Below. All right. We're not supposed to see him. That's the thing. Come to the side. Yeah, buddy. get him out to the front. Come on. Part of the cell. Come on. Where he's are you? He's coming. He's coming. Right there. He's right underneath you. Just keep you. working it for him. Come on. Come, big boy. I want you turning around. Bend it. Bend down, Dingo, and just shake it. Over here. Come, Come on, get yeah. your veggie shake, shake your money maker. Come over here, boy. We're not going to do it this way. I want him to turn. Okay. Come on, that's right. Now you're going to turn around. Come on! Here we go, here it is, here it is, here it is. Come closer. Yeah. Woo! How's the jaw pop on that one? Hey? <laughs> ba, 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 ba. I don't know, I think you get the bonus point for that. <laughs> hey, that's how you do it. Uh -huh. Look at that, look at the smile. That's a great crocodile. <laughs> that is a great 
crocodile, your chutney tunnel just goes Oof! as it goes ka, 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 in the air. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come on, bub. I stuck that on. It's pretty impressive, I must admit. Even for an American alligator, I still wouldn't want to be in there swimming with him, you know. It's not like the Soli, but it's pretty cool. What do you reckon, Brian? Let's get the American uh, opinion right now of this guy. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> it's got nothing to say. <laughs> Saltwater crocs every day. That's, what I said. That's how it's done. <laughs> like a pro. Dingo, did you take notice? Yeah, I what? That's how it's done. I did, you were an expert, I'll give you look, that. Look, look, let me put it like this. I'm very, I'm very impressed with the Nile crocs, and I did discuss this with you earlier. I do find them absolutely fascinating creatures. And um, like well, everything, I'd hate to be at water level. Yes. Let's be honest. Yes. Okay, hey Brian, what do you reckon? I think, uh, man, it's hard to beat that salty. I mean, let's be honest. I'm impressed by Nile Crocs, I'm impressed by gators. It's hard not to be impressed and at no stage do I ever want to be at water level with any one of them. They're all, uh, I would say, except maybe alligators. You might be okay with the alligators, yeah. But, but yeah, salties and Niles, uh, you fall in the water. Please, please, <laughs> you know, that's all you got. Game over, game over <laughs> for sure. Let's head over to the next part.